Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. In today's episode, we delve into the lawsuit faced by Boeing over a 737 MAX 9 mishap and why Alaska Airlines passengers are up in arms. We'll also discuss the call from State Attorneys General for the DEA to reschedule marijuana. In tech news, Tesla faces another setback with a halt in Berlin and price cuts in China, but ARK Invest isn't backing down. Meanwhile, Bitcoin slump is causing ripples for MicroStrategy, Marathon, and Coinbase. We'll hear Bill Ackman's thoughts on Larry Fink's stance on rate cut timing and scope. Plus, we examine Apple CEO Tim Cook's pay drop in 2023 despite exceeding targets. In aviation news, Delta's cautious profit guidance sends tremors through airline stocks market. Lastly, we'll analyze an analyst's prediction about DocuSign potentially seeing less than $95 a share in a P.E. takeover scenario. Stay tuned after this short ad break as we unpack these stories further. Legal action is being taken against Boeing in the form of a class action lawsuit. This suit has been filed by passengers who were on board an Alaska Airlines flight that was forced to make an emergency landing due to issues with cabin depressurization. The aircraft involved in this incident was a 737 MAX 9 model, and the event resulted in both physical injuries and emotional distress for those on board, including the crew members. In response to this incident, the Federal Aviation Administration has initiated an investigation into Boeing's manufacturing processes as well as their safety protocols. Twelve attorneys general from the Democratic state have appealed to the Drug Enforcement Administration to downgrade cannabis from a high-risk Schedule 1 substance to a lower-risk Schedule 3. This action, backed by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, would place marijuana on par with medications such as Tylenol and ketamine. It could potentially set the stage for more responsible cannabis policies. Tesla has reduced the prices of its vehicles manufactured in Shanghai by as much as 6%, a move that could potentially put pressure on its competitors. This decision was made in the wake of a temporary cessation of production at Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory, which was caused by disruptions in shipping across the Red Sea. Despite experiencing a recent decrease in share price, investment company ARK Invest has acquired additional Tesla shares, thereby reasserting their faith in the maker of electric vehicles. Stocks in the cryptocurrency sector, such as MicroStrategy and Coinbase Global, experienced a downturn as Bitcoin wiped out its profits in the wake of the sanctioning of the inaugural U.S. spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds. Regardless of the setback, these ETFs witnessed robust demand with shares traded amounting to $4.6 billion. Concurrently, Ethereum saw a rise by 2.3%, suggesting possible intrigue in a spot Ether ETF. Billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman forecasts over three interest rate reductions by the Federal Reserve. He is of the opinion that fewer than three cuts will not have a substantial effect on rates and advocates for prompt action to avert a possible recession. This strategy, he proposes, might be advantageous for equities. In the year 2023, Tim Cook, the chief executive officer of Apple, received a total income of $63 million. This figure was less than his earnings in 2022 which amounted to $99 million but exceeded the projected income of $49 million for that year. His earnings comprised a salary of $3 million and nearly $47 million in stock awards along with other compensations. In contrast, the median employee at Apple earned slightly more than $94,000. The company also incurred substantial expenses on Cook's personal travel and security arrangements. Other high-ranking executives at Apple each took home approximately $27 million as the company achieved an unprecedented valuation of $3 trillion in that same year. Shares in airline companies experienced a decrease following Delta Airlines' announcement of a profit forecast that fell short of expectations. This occurred despite the company reporting record revenue for the full year and revealing plans to increase its fleet size. Delta Airlines is predicting its full-year adjusted earnings per share to fall between $6 and $7, which is beneath its long-term goal of surpassing $7 EPS. Despite this, analysts continue to hold a positive outlook on Delta, proposing that the cautious forecast is due to expected fluctuations in the upcoming year. 
According to Brad Sills, an analyst at Bank of America, the shares of DocuSign could potentially reach a value of $95 if the company is acquired by private equity. Despite this prediction, Sills anticipates a lower price due to the slower growth exhibited by DocuSign. Amid rumors of potential buyout interest from Bain Capital and Hellman and Friedman, there was a 2.6% increase in the share value of the company. However, it has been reported that Blackstone is no longer contemplating a deal. And that's a wrap for today on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Keep innovating, stay informed, and we'll meet again tomorrow. Until then, take care. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Goodbye for now, until we meet again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.